Manchester United taking on Atalanta. Third game in the Champions League group stage for Manchester United. With one win and a defeat in the opening two games, it's left Manchester United having to win the remaining home games and getting some results away from home to qualify for the next round. Now, this group was seen as a decent group on paper for Manchester United when given the group. And most people would have thought that Manchester United could at least, at worst, come second in this group. We sit third in the group at this moment in time. So nothing short of a win against this Atalanta side, who are a tricky opposition for Manchester United. But nothing less than a win will do for Manchester United in this game because we're going to then have to go away to Atalanta and away to Villarreal and win. And I'm not confident that Manchester United can win away at both of them grounds. <sighs> Manchester United obviously have been in so poor form and obviously a lot of people think that Solskjaer's days as Manchester United manager are numbered. But a win in this game could ease the pressure for Solskjaer but it will only be temporarily until the rest of the hard fixtures come up. This is the easiest game of the upcoming about for the next four fixtures for Manchester United. But Solskjaer could bide himself some time if he does win two or three out of these next four games. I don't think Manchester United are going to turn this around anytime soon. It doesn't look like it anyway. But he's got to try and do something in this, in this game to turn the tide around and get a better performance out of these players. They didn't look like they were pressing well enough. They didn't look like they were... They, uh, I, I, watched, I watched some of the game back again against Leicester and they looked like they were strong. some of these players just strolling around, not giving, maybe not giving their all, I, I just don't know. Have some of these players down tools, I'm not too sure, but it seems a bit different to past times where Manchester United have not been playing well and have then come back on, on a good run of form. It seems a bit different this time around. To me, it seems like the, the, the writing's on the wall for Solskjaer. But as I said, these fixtures, he couldn't have more perfect fixtures when you're in bad form, to be honest, Solskjaer. He really couldn't. To turn it around, he couldn't have... It's either going to go, go well for Solskjaer or he's going to lose his job, in my opinion. If it, if it goes well, then he's going to buy himself probably to at least Christmas because if he wins some of these games, Manchester United are going to be back in... Back, back up near the top because we're playing the top teams and if we beat some of these top teams in the coming weeks then we're gonna gonna make up ground on them teams so he will then buy himself some time but I'm not even confident going into this Atalanta game because as I say Manchester United just look just don't look like there's any tactics there nothing at this moment in time and that, that is worrying for me as a Manchester United fan that we're seeing this I don't want Manchester United to lose regardless of who's in charge at Manchester United, whether I want the manager to go or whether I think it's time for the manager to go, which I think probably his time has come up now and he's just taken Manchester United maybe as far as he can take them. He's done well in, in steadying the ship and bringing in some really exciting players that want to play for Manchester United and I applaud him for that, but I'm not too sure if he can take Manchester United to that next level in order to challenge for a Champions League and a Premier League title. I mean, it's not impossible, but things have really got to, got to dramatically turn around to, to do that. And at this moment in time, it, look, it looks all very, very unlikely. Now, I don't know, I haven't watched any of Atalanta, so I don't really know how, how well, how hard it is going to be for Manchester United and how Manchester United can stop these, but... We do know that they're around, I think, fifth or sixth in the Italian league, so they are no mugs. A couple of years ago, they did well, got, got to what was it, the semi-final of the Champions League, so we know they're no mugs. We know that, and this is going to be a hard game for Manchester United. Whenever you play an Italian side, it is hard. They're, they're probably going to defend quite deep, not give Manchester United a lot of, a, a lot of time on the ball, but I think they, they have let some goals in, so Manchester United have got to exploit that, and it may be a case of... If if they uh, the Manchester United may have to play a bit on the on the counter attack to to explore them with our with our pace, we have done that in big games, even even some games at Old Trafford, where we've done that. And th th this to me is a massive game for for Solskjaer. He's got to get it right. He really has. But these may come here and keep it tight. And if they do, that's going to be difficult for Manchester United to to get break in break in behind because we've we've really struggled with that so often under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So I'm not too sure exactly how they're going to like, but Manchester United have really got to go for this game. We've got to go out there and score goals and put these away. We really have We've got to put in a good performance. We can't be putting in another shoddy, shitty performance and letting a goal in, drawing this game or losing it. So what the hell is Solskjaer going to do to try and turn this tide around? How is Solskjaer going to line up? 
because at the end of the day, this is on Manchester United. We are the, the, one of the biggest clubs in world football. We should, shouldn't be catering to another t another opposition. We should be going out there and putting these away. You don't, you don't see fucking Pep Guardiola going to a fucking back five just to play some shitty team. They go out there and they beat the opposition because they're better than the opposition. We should be... No disrespect to Atalanta. I've said that they're a decent, obviously a decent outfit, but Manchester United should be going out there and putting these away. We should be starting off with what Solskjaer believes is his best team and going out there and putting these, putting these under pressure and putting them away. We really should be doing that. But what sort of team? I don't even know what sort of team Solskjaer's going to go for in this game. There's reports that he could switch it up in this game, but De Gea will be in goal. The bat four, I think, is pretty much going to pick itself. One Basaka, sure. One Basaka's free to play after his ban got re reduced. So, wan Shaw, Shaw, Lindelof and Maguire is going to be the back four. I know he's going to go with that. I'm not too sure whether Maguire is good, is okay to play at this moment in time, but he doesn't seem to, comp to have the confidence in Eric Bay there. And he has played a bit for the national side, I think. So, if, if Maguire's still not fit, uh, then he should really go with Bay because we saw how poor Maguire was in that previous game. He was at fault for all the goals. He was, was having an absolute nightmare in that game against Leicester City. In midfield, he's going to go with Scott McTominay and Fred. We know he's going to do that. I believe that it's going to be Pogba and Matic that miss out there. The, and then going forward, he's going to, going to go with Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's going to go for Rashford on the left and Greenwood on the right. That is what I believe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will probably do. I think he's going to take Sancho and Matic and uh, Pogba out of the team. Uh, Pogba wasn't good against Leicester City, but he wasn't was far from the only one. Cristiano Ronaldo was poor, wasn't the only one. Harry Maguire, obviously poor. There was a lot of poor performances out there. Even, even Greenwood wasn't at his best, although he did score a hit and hope great shot. But... I think that that goal he scored against Leicester will be the reason why he starts ahead of Jaden Sancho. I just, I just got the feeling. I mean, Greenwood has scored four goals this season for Manchester United, where, where Jaden Sancho hasn't scored or assisted yet for Manchester United. So I believe that he will go for Greenwood. He's definitely going to go for Rashford on, on the left-hand side. Got himself a goal in that game against Leicester, so that should give him some confidence. But really... That front five should be good enough to score more goals again and get the get get over the line. If we can sort out keeping it tight at the back, not giving away too many stupid opportunities, control the game better. We're not controlling these games. And when we go 1-0 up, control the game, keep possession. Just keep possession. Just keep keep that 60-70% possession up. That's what Manchester United don't do. Even when we're playing teams that have lesser quality than Manchester United. You see Man City, they're passing it around. They're just probing and probing until they get that opener, opening and then they get the second and get the third. Rarely do you see Man City keep going, getting the first and then, then the game going 1-1. You don't see that with Man City. Manchester United keep doing that time and time again. I don't know how this game's going to go. I really don't for Manchester United. We, I mean, Manchester United have been so poor lately, but maybe Manchester United can pull something out of the bag. I'm going to go Manchester United win this game two goals to one. I don't think Manchester United are going to probably play very well, but I'm hoping that the, the forward players can get the job done because with the quality on the on the pitch, at times even when you're not playing well, that that is a good that is a good, if you've got good players, a good attacking players, that is a good good thing when you're not playing well because if if your forwards are not there or they're injured or they're out of form, then that is a problem. But these forwards at this moment in time are scoring goals and. Which is which is giving me confidence that Manchester United can maybe get maybe get out of this rut because with them forwards you've always got a chance if they're scoring goals creating chances you've always got a chance and and what, however they do it they, they could put it in the back of the net and we know Ronaldo Greenwood Rashford and Bruno Fernandes are, have all been scoring this season so that is good sign that Manchester United can score goals and if we can just stop them going in then that would be a, would hopefully get us over the line in this game. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This game, if Manchester United don't win this game, this could be the beginning of the end for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button and smash the share button if you're watching on Facebook. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.